hey guys and today I will be doing a, a different type of video but um, the video in the background is my A Look at Destiny 5 slash extra um, it was my 5th video um, not very good quality as it didn't have any voice over because it was my first my fifth ever video was the Look at Destiny series that I did five or six of I think. Um but basically um I am now a partner. I'm I know a YouTube partner, I don't even know what it's called, it's part of the YouTube network Freedom. I'll leave the link in the description below. I can start getting sponsors and I'll start getting new videos and um, like better videos and things. I'll be really cool. Um I'll try yeah, I'll leave a link in like I'll leave a link in the link, I'll leave a link in the description below to go check them out, sign up, um, tag to YouTube account, it's pretty damn cool, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to do the top 5 most annoying things people do in Destiny, um, there's a lot more to say, and it's not, not in any particular order, because if you do any of these, I will be peed off of you, um, this would be a quick video I think, but um, as I said, no particular order. Just whatever, everything I read out here, don't do. Um, there's a lot more that I can say. Um, other ones, but I find these just the most annoying. Now, let's start. Number five is not reviving someone in a strike, even though you can. Now, let's just say two guys are needing revive. Like, if you are full health, there's no enemies around them, and you just don't go off and revive them. And cool. Oh, they can respawn themselves. Trust me, just go revive them. I mean, if they're right there, there's no enemies, they're in full health, health, you revive them. You don't just run by them as if you can't see them. No, um, so if you do that, darn you're annoying. Um, the second part is acting like you find it hard. Um, I could have named that better, but I mean as in, there's, there's two ways I mean this. One of the ways I mean this is, um, I am like lost of speech today. One of the ways I mean this is if you are like, there's it's a bit like no reviving thing. There's people that need revived, and um, there's quite a lot of enemies, but you can easily make to them. And once you're there, um, you'll get an overseal and stuff. You'll be fine. And then you act like it's so difficult. Like oh my god, this is so intense, and it's really not that intense. So you just don't go for them. And then because you don't go for them, even though you could have, you die. It's like it could come on. Um. One that I'm going to add to the whole reviving category is if someone is just about to revive you, don't respawn. Let them revive you. Um, the next thing is camping. Everybody knows this. Everybody hates it. Not going to lie, I've seen campers that get annoyed at campers. Yes. Campers that get annoyed at campers even though they're doing it themselves. Don't camp unless it's for a special reason, otherwise you just look bad at the game. Trust me, in fact, you don't just look bad at the game. You know yourself that you're probably bad at the game. Right, the next thing is scavenging, right? Oh, right, you might not know what I mean by this, and I kind of made up my, I don't know if I made up myself. But it's, it's not so much, it really annoys me, and it's not something to do that your own team does, it's something that the enemies do, right? So basically what this is, is if someone, if you are, a, let's just say you are a victim of a scavenger, you're fighting this enemy, and you get to very low health, but you kill the enemy, that enemy's friend waits for you to go to low health and waits for him, his friend to die to come up behind you and kill you. Or something like that. Yes, some people say it's tactics, but you help your friend. Like, 
I would rather him and um, his friend, like, I want the enemy and the enemy's ally, my other Axis, to kill me rather than the enemy dying from me and then the other guy finishing me off. That's a sad thing to do. Never take advantage of your other friend's sanctified enemy. You help them and you make them survive. That's not my extra one. I know so there's only going to be five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll five. Um, the sixth one is this little extra one is using. Alright, there's this thing where in an armor upgrade you can get a certain amount of kills, or if you do damage to a certain thing, you'll get your super sword's ability. Now, what I hate about this is yes, it's good and it gives you a slight advantage over some things, not too much though. So. <coughs> oh Jesus! <coughs> oh Jesus! I'm dying. But what the main thing is is you'll find um people really misuse that fact. And if you've got like almost every single armor piece in that, and you've got what like Sun Singer, you've got your um your light super sword thing up. Not no, not Sun Singer. You've got your like. Basically, you've got like the thing where you've got your knife and your precision damage and all your grenades that all make you get super swords if you get that certain type of damage. Now, what's really asshole about this is like it's totally fine if you've got like one or two armor, but when people use it to their like maximum advantage, it just gets sad. It's when you're on the crucible, and have you ever noticed where? The guy, one guy, can use his super sword ability almost instantly after he's used another one. Well, it's I find that just it's almost like a cheat. You can do it, and the game's not stopping you from doing it. But if you do this, it's just overall a not nice thing to do. Um, so basically, what you're doing is one of the ways you do it is you have your gauntlets and your helmet have the acid to asset perk thing whatever you want to call it upgrade and it basically allows you any grenade damage will get you your um um your thingy your super sword but what's really annoying about that is what you can do with that is some super sources and some like what are they called again subclasses actually allow you to get grenade after grenade really quickly um, and what that allows you to do is you can just keep throwing the grenades and you will get your super star so quickly now yes I understand that on PvE like um, against computer enemies and it just kinda helps you a little bit but doing that in Crucible it's, it, it's almost just playing under the game and not it's almost a wrong thing to do I think it's bad to destiny etiquette um and things it's just think about it using your super sword not even every two minutes like, even less than that come on man uh, come on guys it's like you can do better than that you most people only get it once a uh, flipping I don't even know once a uh, um I don't even know. Sometimes, sometimes you'll get like every not even ten minutes. <coughs> sometimes longer than that. But these guys can get it within thirty seconds. I've seen a guy use his super swords twice within the same thirty seconds. And once you've used your super swords first, you're like, oh, you're safe. I know that's a stupid thing to think, but you should not have to have that worry. Oh, he can use that super swords again. Basically that's it guys, don't use your super swords, don't misuse the asses to asset kind of upgrades. It's just a mean thing to do. Because along with using your super swords, if you've got your ass to asset all sorted out, and then you use the crest of Alpha Lupi, that gives you more orbs when you, uh, more gives your team, but sometimes it gives you more orbs. When you use your super swords, so when you use your super swords, you can get your super swords 
um, like halfway done, and all you have to do is throw one or two grenades, and you'll get your superstars all the way back. It's just not fair. And it's like, if you've got the trip mine grenade, you can throw that, kill like three people at once, and get your superstars instantly back. So, don't misuse that upgrade. It's a fun, good, easy, helpful upgrade to get, but don't stack it so much. It's just not fair in others. Um, I hope you like this top 5 video. I've done another top 5 of what the YouTuber underrated. Not so much underrated as in unnoticed kind of um, that video. I hope you enjoy these top 5s. Um, I might do more if you like them. But, uh, Patriots, I will see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.